Hello, this is Garrett Dory, and this is going to be a video of the photoelectric smoke detector that I made with an Arduino and some cardboard and some sensors. So there is an Arduino microcontroller. There is a breadboard to attach everything to. There is a buzzer, that's what makes the sound. And then this part is what actually detects the smoke. So, um, this is a photoelectric smoke detector, and I'm about to explain what that means and how it works. So the way that a photoelectric smoke detector works is it basically sees the smoke with light. So you have an infrared light emitter at one angle and then an infrared light detector at another angle. When the infrared light is on and there's no smoke in the chamber, the infrared detector isn't going to see any of the light. When smoke particles enter the chamber, they're going to reflect the infrared light back down to the infrared detector and then the infrared detector is going to see that increase in light and then that's what's going to set off the alarm. So you're going to need some kind of chamber to keep out ambient light. Ambient light could reduce the performance of this by washing out the sensor, or it can even cause it, cause it to false alarm. So you need some kind of chamber, and it will also keep other things out like bugs or anything else that could set it off accidentally. Most photoelectric smoke detectors do this by having a circle of triangle obstacles that will keep out light and only let in smoke. Lastly, you need a microcontroller to interpret the signal from the infrared detector and you need a loudspeaker to alert you when there's smoke in the chamber so when it detects smoke the loudspeaker will make noise and then that's what alerts you so I actually didn't go very far with this photoelectric smoke detector I didn't really put anything to keep ambient light out or anything else so as you can see triggering it with something that's not smoke like a bright light or a finger will falsely set it off. So this is one last little demonstration of me testing it with smoke. So um, thank you for watching and if you like this video then subscribe because I'm going to be making some more Arduino videos of the projects that I do. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.